In September this year, the Toyota Gazoo Racing Team and their two TSO50 hybrids returned from Le Mans to a hero's welcome at their Cologne headquarters. It was the third straight victory of the world's greatest endurance race for their storied LMP1 racer. Over the years, the TSO50 is a car which, we say, raced now in Le Mans for five times and has developed step by step to become a very, very efficient car with quicker lap times and with longer stints. So besides the success and the legacy you would like to create in Le Mans, you also see the R&D feedback. And today we have won Le Mans three times with the TSO50. I think the quickest ever car which went to the Le Mans circuit to race the 24 hours of Le Mans. The TSO50 was developed at TGR Europe headquarters, but its first appearance at Le Mans in 2016 ended with a loss of power on the final lap. It was really about refinement. The more, I would say, CFD you do, the more wind tunnel test program you go through, the more performance you find. We were a bit weak in 16 to handle things going wrong. Unfortunately, five minutes before the end of the race, with the 17 car, I would say management of the power train was much more robust compared to 16. It took some time, but uh, in 2018, uh, we showed that we were a good match with uh, the first Le Mans victory after some painful lessons learned in 16, 17, 15 too. So from that point of view, uh, yeah, we have seen a very good development of the project to showcase Toyota technology, to feedback information from this car to future road car development with hybrid powertrains. If we focus on our car, the people who have conceived it, developed it, are the same one who are developing the road car hybrids. So the, the hybrid division over the past eight years have been rotating personnel between the racing program and the road car development. Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Buemi and Kazuki Nakajima took the TSO50 to its first two Le Mans victories before Brendan Hartley joined the team in 2020. So for the 28th victory, it's simple two words, job done. And then uh, in 2019 to do it again, it was exceptional with two pair of driver teams which were great to work with, uh, which were challenging the team itself. 2020 was difficult because you say, yes, you want to win, you need to win. You see a car ahead, which was not the car which was the quickest, but it was the car with the most reliability. From that point of view, you have, let's say, two hearts in your breast. In the end, the most important thing is that this is also how the team feels, is that you win and that uh, you've put it now three times in a row. And this is, again, proud, a bit of emotion, and you tick the box, job done. Le Mans has a physical endurance dimension. When the team completes the race, the team is physically exhausted. It's really a fantastic feeling and really one of those moments where the world team takes a full significance. It was a very special weekend for us and for Toyota. When the cars return from Le Mans here and uh, you know you have won, you're proud on the people, uh, you're proud on the team uh, because it's an effort of, of all people working very, very hard together, coordinated by various uh, levels of management in the organization in order to achieve this. And then, yeah, proud and a bit emotional. I think these are the two words I use for myself. <laughs>